Welcome, Dimitri. Uh, absolutely, during the competition between the rounds, we are very honored to have you here. But all of a sudden, you appear here all by yourself. Yeah, first of all, also welcome to you, to Russia. Thank you very uh, much. Honestly, we should be together, but I cannot find her. Uh, b between the rounds, I think she go to do some stuff with her makeup, maybe dresses, and she don't answer my phone, so I'm here alone. Okay. But I can speak uh, for two persons. Of course, of course. I know her opinion. Of course. So we just imagine that she's sitting here yeah. and uh, give her the uh, privacy at the moment mm -hmm. to get prepared for the final round. So, exactly. So this has been a very excellent year for you, as, as the, a couple of the previous years as well. And uh, there's still a couple of things to, to come in the calendar this year. There's Vienna and uh, we are all heading towards Shanghai now from uh, Russian Open. Anything you would like to share about your thoughts and uh, wishes for the last uh, part of it's the a, year? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, of course, for example, today for us is a very important day. And uh, to dance in Russia uh, on this amazing competition. Because we can remember that two years ago uh, the Russian Open was cancelled. And then uh, with the new federation, Already second year, he is just a great atmosphere. And uh, we are so proud that everything goes so well. And for us, of course, it's also special competition because from 2013, we won this Grand Slam. And uh, today also we would like to show our best. And uh, the next stop, of course, is Vienna, is the World Championship, and then Shanghai. After this, if everything goes well for us, if uh, we have a plan, if we achieve our plan, uh, maybe we will have some changes in our life. But at the moment, we are very concentrated for this uh, already two and a half competition because today is already half done. Uh, but we're very concentrated for this last part of the year. All right. So you mentioned the uh, changes in the Russian Federation and uh, everything has been uh, perfect here, like this competition here. This is big, this is magnificent, or the organizers, everything has been uh, working smoothly and very nicely. How much do you actually feel that kind of a support, that that is important to have a home federation with you and, and supporting uh, alongside? I have to say that uh, <laughs> we feel shocked in a good way. Because when, uh, before, we, as a dancers, we don't understand what's happening around. And uh, we understand that uh, on those period, maybe there was uh, more important uh, other things uh, to the people in the Federation, but except dancers. Uh, now we feel full support of the Federation. And I can say for all the couples, and uh, not because we are champions and we get everything. No, but we can see that everything what is doing by the Federation, we start to have the national camps, uh, these beautiful competitions. Uh, we feel really support. We feel like, uh, you know, professional kind of sport. It's not like before that everything, everybody try by themselves. Now we feel really like a team and uh, it's a big honor to be a part of this team. I just want to say thank you very much to all the people who is creating this great atmosphere inside of our national federation. It's a big work because they start from zero. They really start from zero and what they did and what they achieved in such a short period is uh, just amazing. I don't know how it's possible to do, but uh, we're just really proud. Right, people in the right places. And, and that is definitely something that is also seen in, inside from the WDSF, that, that amazing things have been happening here in the Russian Federation. Uh, one of the themes that we have kind of like uh, kept up in some of the uh, backstage interviews during the uh, Russian Open Championships has been talking about idols. When you were uh, just a small boy starting your career and uh, your parents, you know, drove you to the studio and uh, you probably were looking up to somebody and uh, later on maybe that changed a little bit. Who were your idols when you were young? Uh, there was a lot. I remember when I was young, because I'm not young anymore, uh, but when I was young, still there was a, you know, like cassette. It was no internet, no YouTube, no, uh, I don't know, CD, it was cassette. And uh, uh, when I started, it was just, U USSR was destroyed, so. 
and um, it was very difficult to find any cassette. And I remember my teacher, uh, she invites all the students, small students, I was eight, maybe nine years old, and she invited to her home because she had a cassette. And we was watching, and first I saw big names there. And of course, as a small boy, I was uh, falling in love with these top couples. And then I remember uh, 1994, I go to the World Cup. It was professional in Russia. And I saw also great couples, great couples. Uh, to mention the names is a little bit difficult because uh, I'm afraid to forget somebody. Mm -hmm. But uh, I remember that all the top final was uh, changing my life. I was, I remember how uh, in the summertime, because the studio was closed, I was um, in the night in all my room, I tried to move all the chairs bed out. And then I put the cassette with this competition and I tried to learn the steps. I tried to dance by myself. I was till five o'clock in the morning. Wow. So, yeah, it was, I do stamina. <laughs> yeah. I do stamina. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this, uh, make me, I think, who I am now, uh, the guy who really loved the dancing. Did, did you dream about being a world champion at that time? I even can't imagine this one. I can't imagine this one. And uh, for me, uh, okay, when you are a small boy, of course you dream. Mm. Of course you dream about this. Then when you became more like youth, you start to understand better, <laughs> maybe it's not possible. So you start to change the goal for more real one. And um, my dream was if one day I do the final of the Russian championship, maybe I will be the happiest guy in the world. And uh, then when step by step we start to improve, uh, of course the goal was changing. But to imagine that we can be three times world champion, never. And I think all the people around us also didn't believe in this one. So, mm. But now you don't need to pinch yourself anymore because it is... Uh reality and uh, something that you are probably I mean if if you never get used to it in 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 winning and every victory probably feels as good I, I actually checked some of your uh, later interviews for WDSF and in one of them you mentioned that every victory actually feels as good yeah it's true uh, I think our power is that uh, we pass every step in our career. So we was not superstars before. So we was, you know, like when you are successful in juniors and youth, then you go amateur. So your career goes quite good from very beginning. Uh, we start uh, maybe from 96. And um, every step uh, which we did was very difficult. So we remember where we were before. And this uh, never let us forget this feeling. So every Victory for us is important because we remember what it was, how it was before, how we felt before, and what we did during these years. So we really, uh, I cannot say proud, because proud maybe I will be in 10 years when everything finished and I look back, my proud with myself. At the moment we just uh, try to follow our dream and try to enjoy every moment on the floor. Absolutely. You're actually leading us to, to the last theme that I would like to raise up here is, uh, is the legends. Because uh, like I was saying that, that all of the younger dancers we interviewed, they, they mentioned somebody as their idols. You were mentioned. Armen was mentioned, of course, from Latin. And uh, uh, Armen was saying yesterday about the uh, responsibility as a, as a winner. But this is also something that you have to carry. And one day you are uh, like a legacy for, for dance sport. How do, how do you think about that? Do you feel that inside that that gives some kind of a pressure? Of course, also? Uh, it's a big pressure. It's a big res responsibility that uh, we can understand that the small uh, kids, uh, dancers look at us and they try to copy some things. Mm -hmm. So we really need to be... Uh, really need to think what we're doing on the floor. And uh, because we want to lead our federation in a good way. And uh, at the moment, do we do well or not? Maybe it's not we need to decide. But uh, I hope that uh, the young generation which is behind us will be even better than we. And some of them have very big potential and we are very 
proud for the, our WCA Federation that they have these kind of couples. We can see that we will have a great future. That is a perfect sentence to end this interview. Thank you for thank this you and thank you for Olga, Olga as was well. Perfect. Olga, Olga was perfect. there in spirit, as of always, course. As always, yeah. the dance floor, yes, always, sure. she's perfect. All the best for the uh, finals today. And, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.